the Mississippi Delta, Greenville to be exact, where tamales are not just a local favorite, they are a work of art. Come with me on a culinary and a cultural adventure at Doe's Eat Place, where they've been serving up great food since 1941. I can smell those tamales cooking right on the other side of that screen door. Come on, let's go. How did the tamales end up in Mississippi? Well, most people believe that Mexican migrants brought them when they came to work in Mississippi's cotton fields. Then the African-American laborers adopted the tamale, and it's been a tradition ever since. I'm in the kitchen with Doug. Lucky me. <laughs> Doug, I see all this bright looking stuff coming out of this kitchen. Tell me about this place. This place, it's really been, it's been here like 70 something years. And uh, wow. it's just, just an old family hangout. It used to be a long time ago. It used to be a grocery store. And then, uh, and then it turned into a little daddy would fry fish and serve beer and stuff like that. Then it turned into a little restaurant, and from then on, it's been a restaurant. Well, I see all this good stuff, but we're here for the tamales. Tell me well, how that got started. Well, that got started by my daddy just kind of wanting another way to make money. Uh -huh. And uh, he's Italian, and you can, it's kind of hard to put Italian in a and a uh, hot tamale together, but uh, uh -huh. it went over real big, uh -huh. it and works. Uh, it worked out real it good. Works. Friends, I think my work here is done. Till next time on Southern Journeys, see you later. Well, I see all this good food, but you know what? One thing I see you serving up that I want one of. What's that? Hugs. You... Every woman that's come in here, I you know, hug them. <laughs>